Teaching Expression Over Correctness from Patrick Finn. In traditional teaching, literacy was taught in a top-down manner. The teachers taught to students and the students absorbed the information. The teachers moderated assignments and class discussions. However, the students' voices were often silenced. In Finn's new teaching literacy, he expresses that there should be expression over correctness. For example, students write stories and teachers provide guidance without correction. Students are able to talk amongst themselves about ideas without the teacher's interruptions. Also, this results in students becoming empowered, their ideas seem as valuable, students are more willing to speak in class, and they're on track to attain powerful literacy, which is the most advanced level of literacy that Finn notes. It can take time for a teacher to develop new curriculum and to begin teaching this way. However, it can be applied to computer skills as well. Students need to feel empowered when they begin to use computers, and one of the ways is being able to make mistakes. Patrick Finn's ideas of new literacy teaching can also be applied to computer literacy. However, um, the digital divide is very apparent in, in this teaching because children who grow up with computers feel more comfortable making mistakes on the computer than um, children who are not familiar with computers, which is especially apparent in adult students who have not uh, grown up with computers. One great example of this concept in practice is Chicago Public Library's program called Hanging Out, Messing Around, and Geeking Out. There, youth can start out hanging out, playing video games and computer games in a casual setting with their peers. Later, they can move on to mess around and begin to learn programming also with their peers. Finally, they can move to the third level, which is called geeking out with a programming teacher. And there, they can learn more advanced concepts after they've already become comfortable with the ideas in a casual setting. Not every library has the resources of the Chicago Public Library, but these teaching concepts can be applied at all levels of teaching.